Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Age of Origins at Wacker Rush Gaming. Chaos Land was upon us and like so many new players in this game, I was wondering how do I maximize my rewards in this event to get a good rank. So in today's video, I will give you some guides and tips to rank high in the Chaos Land. If you find this video helpful, do smash that subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notifications bell for more amazing videos. Firstly, some Chaos Land basics. Chaos Land is a multi-nation battle arena event. Your first entry to the Chaos Land will be free, but if you leave the Chaos Land in the middle of the event, you will need to use Chaos Land Pass or Gold to return. Chaos Land event will be divided into three time slots in a single day but you can only choose to join two battles when you are in the chaos land your city in the original nation will be under a shield and whilst it is under a shield you won't be able to complete any operations in your normal nation finally troops cannot be killed in chaos land your wounded troops will automatically be recovered once you leave chaos land you're probably wondering why should you spend time participating in chaos land the most valuable rewards are the merit. You earn a heckle of a lot of merits from the Chaos Land event and those merits are then added to your military rank to provide some juicy attack bonus, HP bonus and additional troop capacity. You can see through the individual ranking rewards, they are pretty good but you got to get into the top 1000 ranking in the Chaos Land to obtain these rewards. Besides the individual ranking rewards, there are also alliance and nation neck ranking rewards. For those that do not participate in the Chaos Land, you will still be rewarded the alliance and nation ranking rewards. As I mentioned previously, whilst there are three phases, you can only participate in two of them. The highest points achieved in one of these phases will ultimately be taken determining your final individual ranking. The main currency needed to rank high in the Chaos Land are both gold and healing speed ups. The more you're willing to spend in gold and healing speed ups, the likelihood of you ranking higher are going to be a lot better. Therefore, to participate in two phases at a maximum requires a lot and if you are a low to mid spender, then it is better to focus all your energy and effort onto one phase only. Now, let's talk about gameplay. 15 minutes before the phases you plan to participate in begins, you should activate your city buffs. These include troop expansion, attack bonus, HP bonus, and the one that many forget, Urgent Fleet. You will need to attack monsters in the map, and the more monsters that you attack, the more points you will obtain. Therefore, Urgent Fleet increases the movement speed of attacking monsters, this ensuring your time is used as effectively as possible. When you first enter the map, there is a timer countdown and every minute counts, as you need to make the best use of your time to earn points. When you first enter into the map, you have an auto shield that activates for the first five minutes. Afterwards, you cannot activate your key shield through the city buffs, but you will have to buy them for gold and it will only last for 30 minutes. And there are other buffs that you can obtain and eat stacks with your city buffs, which I hope you would have already activated before entering into Chaos Land. You can buy these additional buffs using the Chaos Land permits. Now, you're probably wondering, what are these Chaos Land permits? Chaos Land permits can be obtained from reward points, which there are 10 phases for you to go through altogether. You can make it your mission to try and hit all 10 phases because hidden within these rewards phases are the Chaos Land Permits and guess what, more merits. Both the combination of the Chaos Land Permits and the amount of merit you're going to obtain coupled with all the killing makes the event loved by many. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, so how do I get so many points? First way is by attacking monsters. This is the easiest way to get points safely. If you're not going into the Chaos Land with the team to fight together, then it is best to focus on attacking monsters. Now, for my first secret tip, there are three levels of monsters and killing the highest level of monster will get you the most amount of points. Attacking and killing a level 1 monster will only get you a maximum of 300,000 points. However, attacking and even though you may not be able to kill the level 2 monster will get you more than 300,000 points as your damage ratio to the points will be a lot higher. Finally, attacking a level 3 monster even if you're not able to kill it will get you more points than the level 1 and level 2 monsters. Therefore, focus on attacking level 3 monsters from the start. As the points obtained are based on your damage output and not 
you killing the monster. Whilst attacking other cities might sound exciting at first, it is not as great as you may think. The points I obtain on average by joining attacks with my team members are around 300,000 ish and below. Separately, I ended up getting a lot of wounded troops, which I must then use healing speed ups to heal. Then, when there are many of us attacking one target, I tend to not get so many points. Therefore, the overall results were actually not that great. As such, I would suggest when you are a city level of 25 and below or a young nation, it is actually better to focus on attacking monsters all the time. This is the same for low spenders to maximize your rewards with the minimum amount of spends on gold and healing speeds. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, please do subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. Thank you. Goodbye.